All right, guys, I'm very excited to announce that I bought my first house. I've been keeping this announcement under wraps for a little bit as I've been getting everything finalized, but it's official. This house is mine. It's in Minnesota. You know, it's always been a big dream of mine to buy a house in my hometown, and I was able to buy it 100% with cash, which was also a big goal of mine. You always hear me talk about being responsible with the money you earn. And on the way up, I n I'd never bought anything for myself because I believe in that so much. Not buying dumb stuff to impress people you don't even care about. There's no point. You might as well invest back into yourself, invest into good things and set yourself up for a good life. Because of that, I was able to accomplish a huge goal of mine, which was buying a house. It's amazing. It's a great feeling. So yeah, I want to show you guys around a little bit. It's cool. It's a brand new house. Obviously, Dan's going to be living here as well. I've never really had my own space. For the past like six months, I've been living out of suitcases. Just having like my own space. I was walking around the first night and it was just so surreal that like I own this property. I've never really had something like this. So, you know, I'm trying to decorate it, like put my touch on it. You guys know my favorite band of all time is Oasis. Got the posters and everything. This is where me and Dan chef up all our meals every day. We got the dirty dishes in the sink already. You guys know, like I'm addicted to caffeine. So I usually have this shit stocked up with caffeine. There's only one left. The Alani Hawaiian shaved ice. That would be great if it just like broke into an ad read. That would be like the most seamless ad read of all time. Unfortunately, it's not an ad read. They don't sponsor me. So you can tell it's not too much going on in the fridge. <laughs> I'm kind of a skinny guy, you know, I don't really eat too much. I should try to eat more. It's been a whirlwind like the past couple weeks. There's a lot of stuff as a homeowner that you have to do that you don't think about. It's been like a crash course for me. I've just been learning along the way and trying to keep as low stress as possible while still being a responsible homeowner. But at the end of the day, I'm 23 years old and I still have that young man gene in me where we struggle with responsibility sometimes. So yeah, I'm trying my best there's a bunch of stuff like rooms and stuff that like there's no need to show a lot of it's empty so we'll just go up to the parts that have stuff in it can we go in your bathroom <laughs> yeah, bro. this guy dan got his own bathroom man moving up in the world it's pretty clean motherfucker has his retainer sitting right on the <laughs> counter though how is it possible that your trash can's already full <laughs> bro it's been here like That's three cool. days i haven't seen your room yet did you oh, get man. off the air mattress yeah. you got the nice tv stand over here this guy slept on an air mattress for like a year at our old house he could have gotten a bed he just chose not to get a bed he slept on an air mattress that was like this close to the ground. He even brought girls back to the air mattress <laughs> here and there. So this smoke alarm has been broken since we came in. During the middle of the night at like 2 a.m., it started beeping woke me up and uh you should have seen the rage in my eyes when i had to come out here and rip this thing off the wall here's my room if you've seen the old videos i've had some like ghetto ass <laughs> room setups in my life at first it was like i couldn't afford stuff for my room so like i would have the upside down laundry basket as the nightstand i had the little twin bed that i slept on since i was like 12. i literally had that bed up until we moved out of our last house or like six months ago or something i got a bed and everything like a real nightstand now this is my favorite part of this room this record stand thing that i got i've wanted a record stand with records since i was in early high school like i've always wanted it and to me it's like little stuff like this that symbolizes it for me like the house is great and everything don't get me wrong but like it's it's, it's kind of the little things that like symbolize it where it's like I always wanted a record stand and I wanted to be able to buy records of my favorite bands and artists and stuff. I'm such a big music guy. I used to not be able to do that a couple years ago. I literally couldn't afford to do that. So it's uh, those little things that mean so much to me. Yeah, these are some of my records. Obviously, we got to start with Oasis, my favorite band of all time. I want to get all the Oasis records and fill this back sleeve up with all oasis albums we got the blink 182 record this album has no skips on it probably their best album in my opinion we saw them live a few months ago in minneapolis that's definitely my favorite concert i've ever been to we got bob dylan this is just one of my favorite album covers of all time i'm a big like story guy metaphor guy when it comes to music and i think he's probably in my opinion top three storytellers of all time as far as songwriters he's great and he's from minnesota which is awesome another pop punk band neck deep i was just super big into them in high school it just reminds me of my summers as a high schooler like going to the warp tour and stuff like that this type of music was like very big in my life as a teenager and it got me through a lot and then we have radiohead right here the bends album if you want to cry yourself to sleep at three in the morning this is the band to do it radiohead also got me through a lot of times even coming up on youtube i don't know why i gravitate gravitated to radiohead a lot when i was going through tough 
parts of like the journey on the way up. Yeah, I wanna get rad all the Radiohead albums as well. OK Computer is a better album, but the Benz has fake plastic trees on it, you know? Yeah, I've never had a desk before. You guys may not know this, but every single video I've ever watched has either been edited completely in my bed. I used to sit on my bed literally for like 10 hours a day editing with my back up against the wall with like blankets behind me and just like crouched over editing. Every video you've seen has either been edited on that old twin bed or like on the road somewhere in a hotel. So now it's nice to have a desk to work on. But this is the reason I bought the house right here. My entire life, I've never had my own bathroom. I've literally always shared. There was a period in my life where I was sharing a bathroom with five other dudes. It was six of us total sharing one bathroom. And if you know how guys are like that is literally like disgusting. I wanted my own bathroom so bad. Yeah, it's been amazing so far. Like I love having my own bathroom. Got my own shower and everything. It's, it's super cool. And then this closet right here that I need to clean up. I still have to organize all this shit. Yeah, we don't need to look yeah. at that. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all you guys for making this possible. It's unbelievable how much of my life has changed over the past couple of years. I watched a clip of me back in 2021 before I had anything and I was reading a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad at the time and pretty much visualizing one day having this stuff. I've been reading this book. I picked this up yesterday. It's Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm trying to learn how to be smart with the money that I don't have. <laughs> they say that if you like believe in something and then you take action towards like achieving that goal, like you really try to move in that direction, you'll get it. It creates sort of that law of attraction. So I know that one day I'm gonna be making good money off of this, even though right now I'm, I put more money into it than I get out, cause that's the way, that's how you have to build something. You can't just expect to immediately see the fruits of your labor so and i've always just wanted to be smart with money i don't want to be one of those people that gets money and then immediately loses it loses it all so uh this is like reading this type of stuff i'm trying to teach myself like when i do start to come across money i want to know what to do with it yeah it made me emotional to think about all those things kind of came true that i was like visualizing and it can be very lonely when you're in that stage and you're like trying to picture getting here but you you just know you're gonna make it happen and that's where I was at. It's crazy. And to all of you guys who have a dream that you feel like you're being pulled towards, I just want to say like, please, please go after that. We live in a world where people will try to cut you down and they'll try to like talk you out of following your passions and your heart. It's a shame because the responsible thing to do is to follow your heart. It really is because you, you don't want to live with regret and you never know what can happen. People go into stuff with like the attitude of what if I fail? What if you succeed what if you succeed more than you could ever imagine and it's greater than you ever thought it could be that's the attitude you need to go into things with if you can use me as an example for that that's awesome because i was literally started from zero just like a lot of people i am just a normal dude who had a dream and followed his dream i just stuck my arm and it got wet on the back oh, damn, bro. i hope there wasn't like fucking, fucking water leaking out of that shit. all right guys we're back in la right now on the way to go pick up the boy nico look at the mountains man it's beautiful out here free nico to his backwards so why did he walk so zesty you got the jorts on today yo yeah, i felt a little old today you, you smell good today nico thank you babe <laughs> How's life been since uh, McDonald's? Amazing, you know, I don't gotta worry about that weekend shit no more. That's crazy, last time I saw you, you were on the counter at McDonald's. <laughs> oh wait, there it is. They got it. Yeah, it says alcohol free. <laughs> drink, it from <laughs> <co> <laughs> drink it from the cops. <laughs> you want a beer? Giving the wife free. Yeah, I'm about to get a little loose today, you know. So hey, bud, do you do, do your it's thing, a party. Man. Cheers, my friend. Video we're throwing a rager. We're shooting the next Project Better X. Yeah, we're shooting the next Project X. Too bad I ain't that young no Nah, you don't look a day over 30. About 62. 62? What's your skincare routine? Your skin's yeah, looking good for 62. Stay out in front of the sun, stay in the house. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what's up. Ain't no shit. I heard a beer or two a day helps keep the disease away. I shot a vodka. Shot of vodka? Yes, that's what's sir. up. That's what I had for breakfast this morning. Vodka and a good cigar works every time. <laughs> It's not alcoholic though. What is it? It's not alcoholic. How come? I'm not trying to get that loose today, you know. No, no, we're shooting the next Project X. That's why I'm buying beer. I just wanted to give you guys business. I love Circle K, you know. That's why I came here. Loki, I'm on probation right now too, so can you make sure she doesn't call the cops? No, it's okay, but you have to. Oh no, you don't. No, you don't need to do that. All right, cheers, bro. 
Appreciate you. That guy thinks he's about to turn up. He's gonna drink. It's gonna be non-alcoholic. God damn, bro. This fucking LA traffic. You want to go up the street to go to fucking McDonald's here? It's literally you have to take a mini road trip. You gotta pack a bag. Let me tell you one of my new resolutions. I gotta be slim before I turn 19. We should go to uh, the gym tomorrow. Please. You know how many bitches I would get if you were skinny, bro? Yeah, like, that's I'm true. already a cute fat nigga. Imagine if I was a cute nigga, just nigga in general. I'll be Mr. Bitches, bro. <laughs> it's a good thing you quit McDonald's too, because then the temptation's yeah, that, gone. Every shit I was getting a free meal, bro. Man, them niggas was getting great. I go, I'll be at the cashier, right? I'll be smelling this shit. I'm about to put that nigga ass sticks. <laughs> I started floating this shit. When I worked at Burger King, that's all I would eat is the nuggets. I'd like to just reach into the tray and eat them. All right, we don't have a bottle opener, and I'm not trying to sit in the traffic to go to a store to get one. So they always have those methods on YouTube. YouTube where like there's ways to open it, right? Oh, I heard it. Oh! Right there, yeah. Do it hard. Yeah, hit yeah, hit it, hit it. Just like real nigga shit, ready? God damn, Nico! You finna get like a <laughs> Yeah, I can't drink out of this. Look at that shit. I can't drink that. This guy walking like <laughs> this guy walking like other people don't exist. You want a beer? All right, man. Bro, he's just walking in the middle of the fucking road. Look at him. He's walking like he's in a goddamn movie. There's people driving out here. These guys asked us to do an interview, a cultural interview. Do you want to get in? He's deaf. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's a little offensive, but what? as long as you apologize, it's okay. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry about it. That's why he wears earplugs because he's self-conscious. So he wants oh. people to think he can hear, but he really can't. Can men get pregnant? Oh, I am. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. How about oh, a yeah. congratulations? Instead of laughing at me, you could say like congrats or something. Congratulations, I'm sorry. Thank you, I appreciate So how far along are you? Two weeks. How do you know you're pregnant after two weeks? My stomach's been growling more than usual, so. And me and him had sex, so I think, yeah. I think that's where it came from. How long have you guys been together? Two weeks. Yeah. Oh. We were like a one night yeah. stand. I was finna dip, but I was like, that's my kid, I'm finna stay. So. That's really noble of you. We need more of that, more I know, we need like more you. black fathers. For Did you take a test yet? A test for what, AIDS? Uh, that too, but presumably it was the pregnancy test? Oh no. How do you know so. you don't just have cramps? No, I have a kid too, so this is the second time this has happened. So the first time you had a kid, you felt like... You yeah, I felt the same sensation I'm feeling now. Okay, and where did the kid come out of? My asshole. <laughs> That's that kind of obvious, is that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be black and ease too. He's gonna be a straight A so student funny? and gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. Slash Yao Ming. Black and yellow. Okay, cool. Hey, y'all wanna get in our interview? Come on, man. He's pregnant, definitely. So you identify as a woman? No, and that's kind of offensive. I'm the woman, I identify as a woman. So shouldn't you be the pregnant one? No, no. I just told you men could get pregnant. Then so who can does men. the impregnating? He identifies as a woman, but he still has a penis. Okay, yeah. I need to get with the times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you need to catch up. Cause I ain't gonna lie, it's mad different in 2024. You need to get enlightened. Okay. You gotta do some more drugs. You want a beer? Job, bro. <laughs> do I want a beer? Yeah. Sure. What are your pronouns? They. My pronouns are they, them. Can I call you it? No, it. you can't. You have to call me they, them. Okay, it. I said I'm they, them. Is that your boyfriend? <laughs> That's my husband. Your husband? How are you doing, sir? I identify as they, them. Is he deaf too? Why? No, he's not deaf. Why is he not answering me then? <laughs> because he's in the zone. He's about to get the best shot of all time. That frame's gonna have no wiggle to it at all. Can I just pop this open? We don't have well, a bottle like, opener. Sir, you got a bottle opener? Not on me, man. Yeah, you can have one if you, if you got a bottle opener. Sir, you got a bottle opener? Hell no, can I have a beer? I know you got some tricks up your sleeve for how to open this. Oh shit. Why did I think he was about to bang it on his knee and open it? Okay, this is how you open it up. Oh god. Ain't no way. Damn. Oh. <laughs> cool ass. Yes, sir. Only in Can you open hers for her too? Two I like how you stick your tongue out before you do it too. Oh. There you go. Appreciate it. What's your right name? On King James. Man. King James? Like LeBron? But I was before him, though, of course. Yeah. yeah. He took my name. You're LeBron's daddy, <laughs> huh? Yeah, he took my name. I'm 71 years old. King James ain't near no 70. He ain't even married to 50. Yet. Yeah, go get so your name you back. He really took my name. Not for real. Can you dig it? I was always a Kobe fan anyway, I can so. Dig it. He kind of licked the top of that, too, so you're going to be getting yeah, a little yeah. extra flavor. Nah, you got to nah, drink you gotta it now. It. You're too nah, deep you into it now. Right, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Look, at, she's not even drinking. <laughs> you get two. Oh, you know? thank you, honey. May the force be with y'all. You too. Can you dig it? You gonna post on uh, Chatterbait? What's Chatterbait? That's what we're on. You know, like, Chatterbait. Ex hamster. Jerkmate. Baddie hub, jerkmate. <laughs> so this is a joke to you? Because that's that's what we're on. Brad. 
Instagram. How about? What's your Instagram? I want to watch it. This is platonic, by the way. I just want to watch the video later. There you go. All right, thank you. Cool. I appreciate it. Bye, guys. See ya. I just had to make sure he knows. I'm not gonna disrespect him like that. I'm getting his wife's Instagram right in front of him. I gotta let him know. This proves that out non-alcoholic beer works though, because he didn't even flinch when he drank it. Look at him. He's turning up over there. He thinks he's buzzing right now. This is the placebo effect at full force. That's fucked up. What? They got a dog in there. We got a dog in there? Yeah. That's fucked up, man. Let it free. Oh, dude, no. He prefers it in here, man. Can I see what it looked like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't got no said, Can you dig it? Yeah, he's gonna be out here biting tweakers. Yeah, you can put the dog back. Never yeah, mind. <laughs> what the f yeah yeah how you doing you want this syringe on the ground that i just found what the fuck is that <laughs> do you want a beer i'm good i'm only 20. i'm just kidding it's non-alcoholic by the way really yeah ask that guy you want a beer i want some what the fuck hell yeah turn up brother swallow it <laughs> can i give this a quick spin yo where'd you get yeah, this from oh shit this shit goes flying oh Bro, I didn't realize the brakes were that sensitive. Cheers, brother. Yes, sir. King James. Yes. LeBron stole this guy's name. Y'all trying to whip it? What's up? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? We're going to come back and all the beers are going to be gone. <laughs> We're going to look over. King James going to have them. Go, 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 go. go. Going <laughs> oh, shit. On the right. Ready? One, two, three, go. Right. Left. Right. Left. Oh, shit. All right, go, go, go. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Go, go, go. Bro, my balls, my balls. All right, you go in front. You go in front. Get the big one in the front. Oh, fuck, I get on this. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> Where the fuck did that guy come from? This cannot be a real place, bro. Dude, looks like he's from Interstellar just flying on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, we got it. Hey. We got the groove now. Why is that tiring? <laughs> you just stripped over the air. I'm tired of the beast. Get on, bro. That was fun. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate yeah, sure. it. You not tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not that bro. tired. My eyes watering and shit. You act like you just biked the tour to France. <laughs> you biked literally up the sidewalk a little bit. Hey, buddy, you want a beer? Hey, you want a beer? Hey, you want a beer? I got some crack to smoke. Make sure the door stays locked, all right? You gonna watch my back? He said no. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Sir, was that you? I ain't going in there. I'm not going in there that's, either. That's an shit. Yeah, that's egregious. I don't even want to piss in here now. I might just hold it. Trace, quattro. Can I get the drum real quick? Uno, dos, trace, quattro. Uno, dos, trace, quattro. Uno, dos, trace, quattro. What is he riding, bro? What <laughs> What y'all filming? This is like conversation in bed. Oh, conversation in bed? They're not about to fuck, are they? No. No? Okay. Not even yeah, I was just worried because, you know, the mattress and everything threw me off. They're just thinking about the dating and like sexual stuff. They're talking about sexual stuff, though? Yeah. What if the tension gets too high and then they start knocking boots on the air mattress? Let's not get yeah, I agree. Nobody needs to see that. There's already enough stuff out here. Like, I saw the bathroom. The toilet was literally full of shit. Oh my god. I almost threw up. I keep thinking I'm gonna get run over by a bicycle, bro. Every time I hear them at the last second come up behind me. Is this like ping pong with a soccer ball? Yeah, it is. Can we try it? Yeah, for sure. Play to five. Ah, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. There you go. Yeah, I think that's your move. Yeah. Ah, There it is. Hell yeah. This is where the comeback starts right here. <laughs> That's 3 2. Okay. Nope. 3 3. Oh, oh fuck. There you go. Hey! Let's go. Alright, 4 4. I'm gonna serve it light. I'm gonna make it fair. I just fucking lost, bro. How'd you sell that? A 3 0 lead? That's crazy. I'm like the Cavaliers back in 2017, bro. <laughs> nah, you're like the Warriors. Hey, y'all doing a reality TV show for pajamas and black guys behind them? We're filming for Jerkmate. You want in? 
Jerk mate? Yeah. Yeah, get me on there, man. You want a beer? Oh, no. Hell yeah. You guys are cool as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hope you guys have a lot of sex before you die. This guy deserves to get laid right now. In fact, I'm gonna try to help him. Hey, somebody come sleep with this guy if you're not racist. I'm gay, though. He's gay, though. You want in? Yeah. Me and you could. No? I'm oh. alpha hetero. I'm this not just hetero, I'm alpha hetero. This you're oh you're an alpha. alpha hetero. Funny as I can tell. Two children with one woman. Oh, yeah. graduated college. I'm a hetero. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, yo, get that education. Down, That's what's up. What degree did they get? This Support the black man economy. That's what's up. I mean, if you said like art or something, then I would not respect it. It's gotta be like computer science or some shit. Some shit you can use, you know. No, I ain't gonna lie. I thought you was Asian, but now I know you black. Oh my mama, this I'm motherfucker funny like like. I'm black and ease. That's my brother. I already know that. How much, man? How much? Five dollars. Can we get the white stuff on it? <laughs> that looks like it came straight off the front page of Brazzers. Oh my god! Ah! Oh shit! You scared the fuck out of me, bro. I only jumped because you screamed. I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask, do you know where the liquor store is at? It's alcohol free. Oh, okay. oh yeah, you thought you thought I drink alcohol? Yeah, no alcohol on the boardwalk. No, I'm a sober I'm a sober Sally. This is zero percent. Okay. You want one? Oh, we're doing churro reviews. Do you want some? That shit look not dry. <laughs> that shit look like a little extra patrol to You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, he laughed like Spongebob when he was driving away. But he looked like he didn't afford that skin. Bro, my fucking calf is cramping. Stretch it out. I'm trying. No, it's, Stretch it. I'm cramping. No, real shit. Put it up here. Put it up here. Stretch that shit out. Where it's, is it? It's, it's under. Oh, my God. No, nah, this is not good. Is it working? I used to play football. Now I'm doing this. I'm sweating. Oh, my God. I'm on period. You got to drink water, bro. Are you good now? I'm straight up. Bro, what the fuck? It's like as soon as I got in this bitch. Stretch it. I'm telling you, you gotta, you can't, you gotta oh, put okay, it. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You good? Yeah, oh, like this is perfect. Okay, we good. Let's go. <laughs> Why'd you start smiling like that at the end? Like